Cheers, howdy do, buckaroos. Got some Anthony Gomes playing in the background, hard road, easy at the particular moment. So I got one I picked it up from uh, Great Escape Beer Works. Now I had no intention of getting out at all on Wednesday, uh, but as I was scrolling <laughs> on social media, I saw Great Escape Beer Works uh, was running a special in conjunction uh, with the pitch. Uh, it's a pizza and pub, uh, and uh, they have a food truck that does a lot of the, uh, the craft breweries in town. So anyway, um, the special was two crowlers and a pizza. It's just a nine inch pizza, but hell, it's just the wife and I, that's plenty for us. Uh, but to put that in a little perspective, uh, I love Great Escape, but and I'm not saying they're not worth it, but I am saying they're a little pricey. Uh, the quality is incredible, the beer is just as good, uh, but uh, yeah, they, they do tend to be a little pricey. So I don't go there uh, as much as I would like to, uh, simply because I just can't afford them a lot. However, with this deal, what uh, you, they allowed you any two crowlers, and what I picked out was, uh, uh, this is the Elise, a Belgian strong ale, 9%, 30 IBUs, and the other one I picked out, I'm surprised that they allowed it, but they did, uh, was a 10 hour workday, 10%, 100 IBUs. Uh, so the crowler of the Elise typically runs $11. The crowler of the 10 hour runs 17. So, I mean, you can do the math there, right? That's 27 bucks. And plus I got a pizza on top of it for 25 bucks. I got the two crowlers and a pizza. I basically got a free pizza and, and you know, $2 off the beer. <laughs> So I, I am, again, the point is I'm happy to be sharing some great escape with you, man. Because uh, uh, the truth is they are a favorite brewery of mine, but but they, because a part of it's the, the part of town they're in, they're in a very trendy up and coming part of town called Galloway Station. But they are doing some, some great beer. There's no lie about that. So Belgian Strong Ale, a 9%. 30 IBUs. I don't typically order a lot of Belgian Strongs, right? But I was looking at the menu and I kind of wanted to, I, I actually couldn't help myself from ordering the 10 hour workday because I am a, a Imperial IPA junkie. There's no doubt about that. But I thought, well, I want to try this one. Uh, and, and with the weather, I thought it would kind of, was apropos. It's Friday as I'm doing this video. So it's two days after I, I bought it. I dribble a little bit there. Uh, yeah, um, and Wednesday was, the weather wasn't great. Uh, Thursday, the weather was awesome. And and today the weather is, well, the weather is not great again. Uh, it's only about uh, mid mid to high 40s out there. It's a little chilly, a little windy. Um, I was gonna go and stay in the living room, which I always refer to as the lounge area of my bar, but I decided to come out to the garage. I just didn't open the garage door. So Belgian strong ales are typically uh, very floral. The Belgian yeast tends to add a, a lot of floral component. They can be herbal, they can be a little, little fruity as well, but I'm getting a lot of floral notes here for sure. Got some bready malts in the middle. I, I don't know what they're using here in all honesty, and they don't say here, uh, but it's it's uh, typical uh, to, to use a Pilsner malt in these beers. It is beautiful, bright, and clear golden, as you can see. Very crisp, clean finish. I detect, I detect some honey-like uh, notes in there. It's a little bit of sweetness. Again, the floral notes, I feel like I'm picking up some honeysuckle, uh, uh, some orange blossom-like notes as well. Uh, you may get some other things. Uh, that's really up to you and your nose and your palate. How about that? I don't like to tell anybody they're wrong because, quite frankly, what you taste is what you taste. A lot of folks will tell you, well, you, you should get this, 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 and this, and this. But if you're not flavored with those aromas or flavors, uh, you're not going to get that. So are you wrong for tasting what you taste? No, because that is how your brain is interpreting those particular aromas and flavors. So no one is wrong, no matter what you get. Mm. 
I'm gonna take my time. It is it is it is uh, 32 ounces. <laughs> it is two full pints of a nine percent Belgian strong. And although you typically wouldn't drink it out of a, a five ounce taster like I am, uh, you know a typical pour of a beer like this would typically be in about an eight ounce uh, uh, eight, eight ounce to it. Or sometimes a 10 ounce and with the head you're gonna get about eight ounces of beer. But speaking, you're only you're typically drinking about eight ounces of this style at a time, and I've got 32 ounces. So I've got two pints, but if, if I if you know if I'm going by bar measurements, <laughs> if it typically comes in about an eight-ounce pour, I've got four servings here, man. <laughs> but I am serving it in about five ounces at a time. And then I go a little slow. This is my first beer of the day, and I want to take my time. And at 9%, it may be my only beer of the day. Because <laughs> once they're open, I, I like crowlers better than growlers because it, it, they will stay fresher longer. The downside is, well, once they're open, they're open. Whereas you could put a lid back on a growler and put it away. Um, but once they're open, once, a, once that growler's open, you don't have a lot of time. I mean, you, you got to drink it throughout the day. And that pizza was good, by the way. <laughs> it was. It was very tasty. Uh, so here's the deal. My wife loves barbecue chicken pizza. I do not. I don't like chicken on a pizza. I'm a bit of a pizza purist, right? <laughs> but uh, but I, I felt like it was, you know, it was time to do something for her. So I got the barbecue chicken pizza, and it was actually pretty tasty. It's done well. They used great ingredients. It, it was done extremely well. They were running a little behind, and she apologized profusely for running a little behind. I mean, you know, what the hell? We're not doing anything anyway. <laughs> I mean, things are tense right now, but there, there's, there, there's no point treating people badly, right? People are just trying to do it. The folks that are still able to work or the folks that still have to work, I guess, um, you know, they deserve to be treated with respect. So there you go. I want to thank Great Escape. I want to thank the pe uh, the pitch, uh, pizza and pub. Oh, this beer is absolutely fantastic, and, and I'm kind of glad I picked it up. I hadn't had a Belgian strong in quite a while, and, and I don't know that there's an American craft brewery doing it any better than this particular one right here. I am Tommy Beer Whisper, Beer Evangels, prolific beer drinker, purveyor with the man. Cheers. All right, good guy. Cheers.